Polite Inquiries, Headingly. Kunal says, is the unthinkable possible? I think he means, will George Dobell smile? Uh, but it's also possible he means, will India draw the match? It's also possible he means, will India win the match? George. Sure, sure, sure it's possible. Sure it it's is. Thinkable. Given themselves a, a... England still hold the best cards, I think. You know, a new ball to come in the morning, that long India tail. But they've done really well today, India. And um, sure it's possible. It's a wonderful game, isn't it, cricket? Also, just part of the, what they wanted to do today was make some of their batters make some runs and keep Jimmy Anderson and the bowlers in the field as long as possible. I think that it's already a win from where they were. I completely agree. And maybe England should have done a bit more of that on day two. You know, maybe they got a bit carried away with being aggressive, being, you know, trying to get quick runs. Maybe they should have just been a bit more... Maybe they should have kept injury in the field for 180 overs. I agree. Taming the Bully says, should Pajara play like this in every match? What better he does. than usual? Uh, I don't he think does. Well, he, he doesn't. He doesn't score at this rate in every match. He, he's not no, as but... aggressive, but realistically, it, you know, he plays to each individual um, pitch and he different bowling attacks. And I think he bowled. I think he played really well. But I'm not sure that it, yeah, it, he needs to play like this in every inning. I think he does play pretty much the same. He tries to. So you know, he's human. So there's a margin of error in his performance. But actually, he plays the ball in its merits. And England didn't bowl that well to him. I think he got off the mark with a half volley on the legs. I think then from Jimmy Anderson, who bowled him another one shortly afterwards. You know, England weren't at their absolute best when he came in. He got a bit of a start. He relaxed and played his more natural game. It, it happens. Ronald says, are we witnessing the 2001 Kolkata test on repeat? Well, no, the conditions are slightly different and the partnership is slightly different. Uh, it, could be, it could be a different test match. Um, but everyone seems to be obsessed with cold cutter test at the moment. I don't know why. There's, there's not even a follow on here. Uh, I, we're not there yet. There's still quite a long way to go. And as I say, there's that long tail. But, but you know, the 2019 test here is also maybe a little bit relevant. Long way to go. We've seen a lot of weird stuff happen at Headingley before. Um, so yeah, we have. It's possible. Sam says, why can't Jimmy seem to get second innings wickets? Really interesting point. But I... I <laughs> I've written about this bit today. I think he's in his last 14 tests, he's averaging 17 in the first innings and 66 in the second off the top of my head. That's quite a big sample size. Yep. I think you know the answer. He's 39. <laughs> and England aren't... Well, it's a factor. And, and England aren't very good at batting. So he's not being allowed the time to recover he should. And the other bowlers maybe haven't stood up might as, quite as well as they might have done. He is human. This is going to happen. Siddhant says, is Joe Root a better bowler than Moen Ali at the moment? No. I mean, Joe, the people get really excited about Joe Root because he bowls fast off spin. He's still averaging mid 40s. He occasionally gets a burst of wickets because he bowls this fast off spin. He's like, I, I've said this a lot, he's like Carl Hooper. He's handy, but he's not a frontline spinner. He's certainly not doing what Moen Ali can do. Johnny says, is the Sam Curran honeymoon period over? I don't know where you've been. Well, they're legit the Sam, questions. I think it's been over for quite some time. Uh, let's remember he was England's player of the series the last time India were here in 2018. His bowling average is still reasonable. I think it's 35, which is, you know, four seamer. That's, that's not a car crash. Um, I can't remember what his batting average is. Would it be mid to high 20s? 25 Again, or something. You know, yeah. yeah. So uh, long term, that average isn't, uh, those stats are okay. I think he's probably got a level. I, I fear, as I've said in my piece, that he's more Ian Gregg than Tony Gregg. I, I just They're love quite... that. That's such a contemporary reference of yours, the Ian Gregg, Tony Gregg. That's no, what the kiddies are people... looking for, just more Ian Gregg references. Neil says, how much of a meltdown will there be if England don't win from here? Well, if they have, don't win from here, of course there will be a meltdown. A quite rightful meltdown. You're not supposed to lose test matches with that kind of lead. Um, but, and, you know... That these things happen. Yeah, I don't think there'll be a meltdown. There'll be a meltdown, George. Well, don't argue with the term. It depends a bit what happens and how it happens. But, you know, a couple of England bowlers bowled really well today. I thought Overton and Ollie Robinson did fine. I mean, really well for a bit. Um, I thought they were really good spells at times, yeah. Yeah, I think that there were 72 full shots in India's first innings. That resulted in 10 wickets. And I think there's been something like 85 in the second innings, which resulted in two wickets. So 
you know, luck plays a, a bit of a part as well. Let, let's see what happens. So far, it's just, it's just a good test. You know, if you're allowed to play well, they're really, really strong side. 